What's going on? Average Tech Guy here, and today we are back. More tech, more reviews. And today we are going to be talking iPad OS 17. Yes, once again, and some of the newest features. So, one of the biggest things that I got a lot of questions about since the first video, first couple of videos came out, were about Stage Manager and if it's a big upgrade. So, today we're going to dive right into it. We'll even see some of it on the screen and we'll just kind of go with the flow and see how it looks. So let's do it. So here we go. This is my iPad Pro 12.9 and this is iPad OS beta. Uh, 17 or iPad OS 17 beta. Now, before we get started, we're gonna go right in here to multitasking and gestures, just to kind of break down what you got across the top of the screen here. Now you can actually make the iPad. This is specifically for the iPad itself. You can turn off any multitasking. So you just want straight iPad, you get straight iPad. Once again, you come out here, you hit this, you don't get any dots at the top, no nothing. Split view, slide over. Now, when you're using split view and slide over, let's just say you want to open up another application, you can do split view and pick which application you want to open and split view not supported. So let's go back through here and let's try again. So we will open this up and we'll do slide over this time. And I'm pretty sure that pages, or let's let's do fold, my folder, that should support slide over. And I'm gonna do split view. So now I got a split view here. I got a split view here, and I got a slide over here. And remember, you can just kind of make this however you want to split view, right split and you can just kind of customize this. Now this was what existed before Stage Manager. So if you come out of here, and remember those apps can be paired together and everything. So when you open one up, it's gonna bring up the split view and everything. So let's say we wanna go back to Stage Manager. This means when you now come in here and you open up one of these devices or one of these applications, it is now going to give you that stage manager view. Now the worst part is you cannot control your window with your Apple Pencil. I think that's one of the most messed up things because um, this is a third party Apple Pencil from Logitech, but with, even with the regular Apple Pencil, it still won't work. You still gotta put your finger on the screen. So let's say we want to size that and then we want to size this one. And basically what Apple is saying is this new like operating system is going to give you more control over this side of the screen. What shows over there? Let's see. And you are supposed to be able to kind of size these how you want. Well, it is a little bit better. I'll, I'll say it is a little bit better because a lot of times it will cut you off at a certain point. But now you can bring this all the way over almost and Make that smaller, click on that, bring this over. And I still don't like the fact that you can't really touch this anywhere and move it. You kind of got to always go up to the front, up to the top, but you can just kind of move this around. I, and I kind of like that feature. And if you swipe up a little bit, it goes away. So, and we got to remember that this is beta, so it may go away when you swipe and it may stay sometimes, but it's still putting these app pairings over here. And there we go, it actually worked that time. So I'm going to open and you know, if you just pull that, open that, split that, pair that, open a new window, we want Word, boom, boom, boom. We got three out here. And dare I hit YouTube TV and see what happens. Now let's just do another window and we're gonna choose YouTube TV. And okay, so we got all four of these windows open. Let's see. We don't wanna play anything, but we do wanna play something and see if it works. It's not, let's see. No, I don't wanna play anything, <laughs> but I don't want any copyright issues, but it seems that YouTube TV is working and that we have no issues. Yeah, it, it's moving up here, so everything looks good. 
We can use any of these at the click of a button. We can resize them. I like that. I like that. I like that. And if you notice YouTube TV is still going and operating in the background, I like that. If you want to come over here, we want to just draw something real quick. Get that. There we go. All right, everything, I mean this, and we want to go home, there you go. So multitasking is really, really real. Um, when you connect this to a monitor, you're gonna get a similar feel. I can just show you just a little bit right now. So once you're in here, you got multitasking and gestures. You go down to multitasking and gestures, and you can select off, split view, slide over, or you can select stage manager. Now, keep in mind that this is all beta, so if you click external, sometimes it will cut off, but you can still go back to the regular screen mirroring. It'll just mirror whatever's on my iPad at the time. If I click back in here and hit stage manager, it goes back to my stage manager setup where it gives me my full uh, desktop type mode over here. So once again, clicking on my settings, it pulls them over and go back to the iPad. Now this is specifically what's gonna happen on the iPad. If you don't want any split screen slide over anything on the iPad, you can turn this completely off. But if you want the split view apps, slide over apps, turn it on. If you want your iPad to mimic stage manager, you click that and that's what you'll have. So just to show you on the iPad, if I come back over here and let's say on my iPad, I just wanna open up no application. If you notice, I get the stage manager view over here on my iPad. Um, one of the biggest things I really like about this whole setup is it can mimic this and you can have multiple windows open on both setups. You come back into your settings and we'll just scroll through some more things. You can select the recent apps, dot, all that's been there. Everything really is, is really no change. Uh, external view, once again, you can pretty much use everything except this bottom, which is swipe finger from corner. And it basically tells you that you can select what action will happen when you swipe your finger from that bottom corner. You cannot choose this as of right now. So hopefully that will be unlocked in a new beta update. But as far as stage manager and how it looks and feels, it is pretty much about the same. I'm not getting a whole lot of new vibes from it right now. Maybe they'll give us something. I know a lot of people had questions, but I didn't see them say a lot about stage manager. So I did want to just come into the stage manager, like settings, just show y'all nothing really changed. Not a whole lot. It's pretty much about the same. You get some different little layout and you get these different options on the iPad itself. Once again, you can turn off stage manager on the iPad altogether, where it's just an iPad. Turn that off. You can only use the split view, slide view, the slide over. You can turn that on, or you can have the full-blown stage manager uh, mimic on the iPad as well as on this device over here. Now, the only time I would say that, that came in handy is if you wanted to open up multiple apps on both devices, that could help. But for the most part, stage manager is stage manager. So as far as stage manager goes, we do get a few little tweaks. I like the fact that you can kind of open this up to all the way over here and not have it really affect the application itself. And it kind of just kind of throws everything else away. And I like the fact that you feel like you have more real estate. But once again, this is not a super big update. This is something just a little minor something that scratches the surface and, and kind of gives us, just kind of throws us a bone to make us a little bit happy with what we have already. So hopefully this has been able to help someone out and until next time, average tech guy out, peace.